Hey guys, what is up? It's Pumped Horses here, and today we'll be talking about drum roll, please. Horse safety! So, yeah, let's get into the video. Come in. Alrighty, rule number one with horses. Rule number one. Do not go behind the horse without them knowing. So that's putting your hand on their bottom or something like that, okay? Or either you can take a giant circle around them, but I just recommend going right behind them and placing your hand on their bottom and talking to them at the same time so they know it's you. Rule number two is that when you see people riding horses in the streets, slow down. Slow down if you're driving in a car. Slow down. When it goes slow, it's best if you stop and let them pass first. In fact, just do that. Just stop, let them pass, and then slowly start to go again. You don't want to scare these horses because that can kill the rider, the horse, and you. Okay? Three people that can be killed, or even more if you have passengers. If you do not follow these. There's people out there who get hit every day because they're riding a horse and stupid people come racing by and the horse freaks out and they get killed. You know, okay, so just don't do that, okay? Just slow down and stop, okay? That's all you have to do. Just slow down, stop. And if the horse people ask, request you to slow down and you forget or something, slow down, okay? I'm most likely going to be like, slow down, slow down. Like that, or they'll be like, slow down. They're not going to go like this. Well, they probably will go like this, and that doesn't mean they give you a smile like, yeah, hello, hello, yeah. Okay, good job, you slow down. Slow down. It most likely won't be like that if you, well, they will be like that if you actually slow down. But if you seem like this, that means slow down or stop. Okay, just stop. Okay, and wait for them to go. Then, then, then you can continue on your way. Okay, okay, yeah. So, rule number three is that you always want to be cautious. I say this to people a lot is that I don't really like people talking to me when I'm trying to saddle my horse because my horse sometimes freaks out and stuff like that, and I can end up getting bit or kicked or trampled on, killed, whatever, if I'm not paying attention, so rule number three is just pay attention to your horse and your surroundings, okay? Rule number four is that um, you just want to be cautious with them. They're big animals, you know, they have a brain of their own. They're smart, intelligent, and that they can pretty much do anything that they please. <laughs> So, rule number five is when you're feeding them like treats or something, for those of you who do not know this, keep your hand flat, 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 and put it, the treat in the palm of your hand. Otherwise, they're going to think your fingers are the treat and they're going to bite that and that's going to hurt. Especially if you have your hand like this and you're just holding it like that, they're going to grab the flap, or they're going to grab your finger, so you want to keep it flat. I guess like, high five, you know, like... In a high five, you know? Just hold it flat, as flat as you can. And you'll be fine, you know? And horses, they can't see from probably here to here. Like if I look down, they can't see that area. It's just blind to them. And also their underbellies and directly behind their head and their bottoms behind their butts. So that's why you want to tell them that you're there if you're walking behind a horse. So that's all the rules I have today with horse safety, just be very cautious, and if you see a horse on the road, slow down, give them enough space, you know, give them a lot of space, just so, because you don't know if that horse is scared of cars or whatever, even motorcycles or whatever, there's been many accidents where people, dumb people who are in cars and motorcycles come out of nowhere or get really close and then the horse freaks out and people get hurt, so be nice. Give horse people some space. Just give horses space, okay? 
You don't want to get your car ruined because the horse kicked it because you went too clap, clap, fast and close. I was trying to say fast and close at the same time. Class. But anyway, so just so you know, be safe out there. Love you guys.